Ah, yeah. What's going on, there, brother? Hey, good morning. Good morning, guys. Let's go over this way. There you go. Uh, I'm Van. Tony. Backyard car from Baby Booms Can Do. Jane. Ah, well, it's a Saturday. Jane should be here. Yeah, she should, but, you know, she's at home doing what it. Oh, another funeral. That's right. correct. Another funeral. A lot of funerals this week. But anyway, uh, we got the, the four six for sixes up. We got them planted in the ground. They're very secure now. We waited 24 hours for back. And now we're going to start building our beams, which are two by eights, in place. So we're going to do 16 feet, all right, hold it up, put the next piece onto it, and then do the opposite direction so that we got a, a nice solid beam to, to hold it. So we got, uh, we're going to end up with 20 feet. 20 feet? 20 feet. So we're going to create our own beam. Uh, we kind of looked into getting one of the manufacturers, but they can get expensive. So we decided we can build on. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Y'all have a good morning. We'll show you stuff later. Hi. Right. Pass loads. There you are. On the table or two. Huh? Probably through, been through this with you guys before, but this is a Paslo. It runs off a fuel cell. So I'm about to take, I just opened up this chamber. Gonna slide that fuel cell in, put the door back in place. All right, and then the, the battery goes right here. All right, and then I gotta load some nails right here. All right, so that's how the Paslo works. Back to the pass low, you pull on this particular framer. This is a framer that uses these framing nails. They go on the, the bottom like so. All right. All right, and they slide down, then you put another one in. Hit this switch to lock them. Also, you do it all right, just at a 30 degree angle. All right, just at a 30 degree angle. So you got to match the angle when you load the screws in. I mean, nails. Sorry. You're not working. All right. Also, after I put the battery in. You want to make sure she's blinking green. Right. Let's try to edit that out. Take two. Quick update. Uh, we got her beams built and across and got their counter braces up. Now, as you see, Tony is starting to put a tube of six across there. So I'm going to have to put the hammer, the uh, camera down. Uh-oh, is he going to make it? <laughs> no, I got to put this down. I'm trying to catch you cutting yourself again. All right. Tony's having a pretty hard time with that because it's just wet material. When we were doing that boat, I boat or you know, carriage boat, excuse me, uh, moisture was just flowing out when we were tightening up the nut. Now what I'm doing is I'm on top of our back beam and I'm laying out the 16 on center. The way I'm doing it is I'm putting my tape on that, that line and coming across to 16 and that's my reference point to now make a mark and, and yeah, I see, wait, wait. there you go. Now make a mark at 16 and go that way, all right? So that's the way I'm doing 16 on center. Now this is what we got to today. Uh, it's 14 by a little more than 19 feet. But so this is our overhang that, that makes it a total of 14. We got our side braces on for support. And we got all the uh, roof rafters at 16 on center. All right, so I still got to put these little pieces all the way across, all right, for support. And I've got to build the privacy wall, which will attach here 
and there and hang down. All right, so this is rosemary. It's great to cook with. Anyway, I'm Vad and Tony and Jane's doing whatever she does today. Back our car for baby booms can do. Until another day, y'all have a most wonderful evening.